How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to talk about churning investment accounts. Now this is not that much different than churning credit cards or churning checking accounts. The premise of churning an investment account is simple. You transfer in a certain amount of money, you get a certain amount of bonus after holding that amount of money for a certain period of time, usually about one year. And then as soon as that period of time is over, you're allowed to retransfer it and open up a different brokerage account and get another sign up bonus if there's such an available thing at the time. So just last week, I signed up for a Charles Schwab account, which allowed me to get a $500 sign up bonus if I transfer in 100K of assets. If you don't have 100K yet, you can still transfer in lesser amounts. 10K, you would still get $100, which is 1%. 25K, you'll still get $200 bonus, which is a 0.8%. 50K, you'll get a $300 bonus, which is still a 0.6%. 100K, you'll still get $500 bonus, which is still a 0.5% bonus. You might go, hey, how come the percentages is getting lower and lower for the more amount that you're transferring in? Well, you don't have that many brokerage accounts that you can just start everywhere to get a sign up bonus for each one. So it's in your best interest to put as much as you can in it to get the highest reward tier that you can. You might look at this and go, wow, 100K, that's a lot of assets to have saved up. And it is. And if you have that, then you get even more money, which is the $500 bonus. They do say that you need money to make money. And this is a classic case. Because you have this 100K, then you get this $500. If you don't have that 100K, let's say you only have 10K, then you only get $100. So the same person doing the same amount of work starting a new account, they get $500 versus a person that get $100. You can imagine having this amount is very advantageous, especially for getting these sign up bonuses. I'm particularly interested in how much time it actually costs me to get this $500. The first thing I had to do was open up the account online, which cost me about five minutes to do. It wasn't too much of a hassle. The next thing is after I clicked on the promotion, I was unsure if it recognized that I actually had this promotion or not. So I had to call in and ask them and make sure that this promotion is active on my account because I really don't want to transfer stuff in, go through all this hassle. And later on, they tell me, oh, no, you don't really have this promotion. And then I get no bonus at all for all the effort I put in. So this call to them took me about 15 minutes of my time. After I made sure everything is fine, then I printed out the forms and fill it all out, and which took me about five minutes. And then after you fill it out, you actually have to sign it and then you have to scan it in somehow. So if you don't have a scanner, this might make things a little bit more difficult. You could use your camera and take pictures of all those forms and try to make it look even, that might work. So I had to scan it in and then email it through their secure messaging service. That took another five minutes. So I think looking at the terms and stuff also cost me another half hour, just kind of browsing it and making sure that I'm gonna get what I expect. Roughly about $500 for one hour of my time is not bad because I'm going to transfer this money in. It's in the form of assets, you gotta realize. It's not cash where you're just trying to get an interest rate on it. These assets that you're transferring in, they are invested assets. So whatever you're earning in it, maybe it's a S&P 500 ETF fund or some bonds or something, you're going to have those earn money for you already. This $500, which works out to be about 0.5%, it's on top of whatever possible gains that you're gonna get on your assets. It's a really efficient way to use your money because you're essentially double dipping because you're getting gains on your investable assets and then you tack on another $500 on top of your investments. The bonus is calculated six weeks after you transfer in your assets because sometimes it takes a really long time to transfer things in. There might be issues with the other company where maybe they won't allow it. I've had this happen before with the previous account I transferred. So it might take some time, but with this Charles Schwab thing, I didn't have that problem at all. So I was able to immediately transfer it within like three, four days, I think. The bonus is awarded one week after that. So you're actually gonna see the actual money in your account in, in the form of cash and you can invest it some more uh, one week after uh, the six week period. So about seven weeks after you initially started the account online. The last thing is you have to keep in those transferable assets in there for 12 months. So it's almost like a CD tacked on top of your assets. Because if you take this amount out of your brokerage account or somehow you need the money or maybe you transferred it somewhere else, then you're going to lose that uh, bonus that you got. So that's it for today. I think getting $500 and an increase in your net worth is certainly worth it for that one hour of your time. 
Of course, doing this or not depends on how much you value your time. If you make about $1 million or more a year, then this method probably won't be worth your time. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know what you think of churning your investable accounts. If you're interested in supporting this channel, check out my Gamefly link down in the video description below. We can get a 30 day free trial. And even if you cancel the subscription service, you can still help benefit this channel and you can try out that Gamefly thing. I also have a Patreon over here and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.